Hi, this is Dave from Pool in Dorset, UK. And I think I've developed a very simple way of lifting my boat off of its trailer so that the trailer can be moved away completely and also uh, you could get to the underneath of the boat for uh, anti fouling, repairs, etc., etc., very easily. Um, so, I'd like to show you in this little clip of uh, how I've managed to do this. Now, the key to uh, this exercise, and by the way, this is a, a Drascom sailing boat. Uh, it's a long boat cruiser, as it's called. It's uh, 23 feet long, approximately. It weighs about 500 kilos, approximately. So it's not the heaviest of boats, but still it's chunky. And as you can see, it's sitting on a trailer, which uh, needs some repairs. Uh, uh, you can see the rust has got to it a bit there. It needs some painting. Uh, the trailer's pretty strong. Um, but what I, I have developed is uh, a method of lifting the boat using what we call in the UK acros, which are uh, screw supports. As you can see on this one, there's a lever, and as you uh, turn that, it uh, pushes up against the um, this here and the whole thing is lifted. This is a short acro. Uh, they usually come much longer. They're used in uh, building work, holding up lintels and uh, ceilings, etc. Very strong, but a little bit unstable when we use them normally. And as you can see, what I've done to make them very stable is I've had steel plates welded on the bottom of them, um, which give them a tremendous amount of extra strength and stability. They are not going anywhere. And I've got four of them. I've got one on either side of uh, my boat and two at the rear. Now let's start at the rear so you can see. So what I do when I want to lift my boat is I drop the, uh, the nose wheel on the front of the trailer so the back of the boat is a bit up in the air. And then I come around the back. Then I support the back of the boat by, in this case, two acros, one on either side, using um, wood between the acro head and the uh, hull of the boat for um, spreading the load and not scratching the hull. Um, you can see the big hole in the back of my boat where the engine hangs through. And you can see another acro um, in the middle, which is just a belt and braces acro. Um, it's not required, but you can see that the centre line of the hull has a wood um, strengthener, uh, and therefore the, that particular acro goes there. But the two acros at the back are quite strong enough. And uh, just to get a, a bit more of length, a bit more height, um, I've put them on platforms and as you can see the whole thing is standing on uh, brick paving so it's very strong and if you were to do this on the grass or on soil you'd obviously have to have definitely have to have um, um, paving stones like I've used at the bottom of mine but for me they're just giving an extra tiny bit of height okay now you can see looking under the boat that the whole of the boat is well above the uh, trailer. So that's trick one. So to start with the back of the boat will be held uh, in a fairly high place. I suppose that's um, two and a half feet high at the back so that uh, that's all nice and solid. And then the other trick is if I want to move the trailer out of the boat I have to have any, whatever support I have at the front has got to be wide enough so that these two uh, trailer wheels can get through it. So what I've devised is 
a steel bar, sorry, as you can see, which was tailor made for me, but it's a fairly basic shape hull this, so uh, it would fit um, many boats. And it's about uh, just over two meters across. So when I put an acro at each side, um, it gives plenty of distance, uh, width I should say, for the trailer wheels to pull through the bed, through the middle of them. And I'll show you in a minute how that trailer is uh, not touching the boat anywhere um, and is free to pull out. Now the uh, the steel bar was uh, made for me. Costs about eighty pounds year uh, English, and uh, it even has welded ends to stop water getting in. Very strong and could hold the boat up in this position on those two acros for the next 20 years without a problem. The only little mistake I made, and I'm quite happy to share my mistakes with you, is that when I made the bar, uh, well in fact I had the bar made, I should be more accurate, um, I should have had this rod here, the cross bar, coming off this point, down here, halfway up that slope. Um, and then I wouldn't have needed to uh, raise the acro quite as high as I have done. And I've had to use um, blocks to support uh, the acro to get it high enough so that the, uh, the whole boat <coughs> clears the trailer. Um, because there are rollers underneath and uh, everything has to be clear. So, um, in my case, because I'm uh, able to, but you could just uh, screw the hour crows up side by side, um, sorry, one side at a time to lift the boat up. Um, and if you can see, I've just put a bit of wood in the angle there just to spread the load and uh, keep the, the whole weight off the hull. Um, but I cheated and used uh, an engine hoist which is over here. You could use a good car jack or anything just to uh, attach to this point and uh, lift it up in the air. Um, In fact, uh, I used it uh, on that point, and as you can see, there's a strap hanging over the uh, engine hoist, and I used the strap under the hull at that position to lift the boat up whilst I positioned my uh, steel bar underneath and the acros, and then lowered it gently on. And as you can see, the acros work really well, and there is uh, absolutely that boat is not going anywhere. And if you uh, were of, the, of a very nervous disposition when you're working underneath, you don't need to be. You could obviously have a second bar and two more acros, in which case you could have an atomic weapon land on your boat and it would probably still be standing there. Okay, just to show you uh, that this trailer does move, I will, if you can see, I will pull it all the way through. And as you can see, the wheels are quite comfortably through. You could have made the bar another foot wider and you'd have even more clearance. But so uh, I can move the trailer out, work on it, and work on the bottom of the boat uh, happily. Now the push it back, this is really for storing it in a tidy place as well as anything else. So it's back. Um, the Acros would cost about £50 each, including having a steel plate welded on the bottom. Uh, you could get them second hand fairly easily. And the, um, the steel bar across would cost another £80 to £100 uh, made, uh, to measure. All you need to do is uh, 
roughly calculate the centre angle of the hull. Um, uh, and it needs to be at an angle so that when the boat's lifted, uh, it doesn't roll from side to side. If you had it on a flat piece of wood, obviously it could be much lower, but then you'd have very little stability. The boat would rock from port to starboard side all the time. This way it's, it doesn't rock anywhere. So that's my method. Very simple. doesn't require hanging the boat from trees, jacking it up precariously in, in ways. It's, um, it's all nice and tight and secure and uh, might even impress a health and safety officer if they were to come. If you're interested and uh, get in touch. Thanks for listening. Bye.